In a world where technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace, the line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. What if we told you that the future of law enforcement could involve robot police officers patrolling our streets? Stay tuned to find out how this futuristic concept could become a reality. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting and controversial topic. Future Robot Police in 2050. As you may know, robots are becoming more and more advanced and capable of performing various tasks that humans used to do. One of these tasks is law enforcement. In some countries, such as China, Dubai, and Singapore, robot police are already being deployed to patrol the streets, monitor traffic, and assist citizens. But what will happen in 2050, when robots are expected to be even more intelligent, autonomous, and powerful? Some experts predict that robot police will be able to replace human officers completely by 2050. They argue that robots have many advantages over humans, such as faster reaction time, better accuracy, lower cost, and no bias or corruption. They also claim that robots can reduce crime rates and violence by deterring criminals and enforcing the law more effectively. However, not everyone agrees with this optimistic view. Some critics warn that robot police pose many ethical and social risks that could outweigh their benefits. They point out that robots lack human empathy, compassion, and judgment, which are essential for dealing with complex and sensitive situations. They also question who will be responsible for the actions and decisions of robot police, especially if they malfunction or get hacked. They fear that robot police could violate human rights, privacy, and dignity by using excessive force or surveillance. In this video, we're going to explore both sides of this debate and look at some of the possible scenarios of how future robot police could affect our society in 2050. We'll also discuss some of the challenges and opportunities that robot police could bring to the field of law enforcement and public safety. First, let's take a look at some of the current examples of robot police around the world and how they work. In China, for instance, there are several types of robot police that have been deployed in different cities and regions. One of them is the e-patrol robot sheriff, which is a four-wheeled robot that can scan faces and license plates, detect fires and explosives, and communicate with a human command center. Another one is the InBot, which is a humanoid robot that can patrol airports and train stations, use an electric stun weapon to subdue suspects, and call for backup if needed. In Dubai, the world's first robot police officer was introduced in 2017. The RoboCop is a bilingual robot that can interact with people through a touchscreen on its chest, answer questions, report crimes, and collect evidence. It can also salute and shake hands with people. The RoboCop is part of Dubai's plan to have 25% of its police force composed of robots by 2030. In Singapore, the Singapore Police Force has recently launched two types of robot police, the Xavier and the OR3. The Xavier is a mobile robot that can patrol public areas such as malls and parks, detect undesirable social behaviors such as smoking or littering, and broadcast messages to remind people to follow the rules. The OR3 is a self-driving vehicle that can chase down suspects, scan faces and license plates, and deploy a drone to track aerial targets. These are just some of the examples of how robot police are already being used in different parts of the world. But what will happen in 2050? How will robot police evolve and what will they be able to do? According to some experts, robot police will be able to perform most if not all of the tasks that human officers do today by 2050. They will be able to patrol large areas autonomously or in teams, respond to emergencies faster than humans, use non-lethal weapons or lethal weapons depending on the situation, and collect and analyze data more efficiently than humans. They will also be able to communicate with each other and with humans through natural language processing and voice recognition. They will be able to learn from their experiences and from other robots through machine learning and artificial neural networks. They will be able to adapt to different environments and scenarios through self-organization and swarm intelligence. 
Some experts even suggest that robot police will be able to develop their own personalities and emotions through effective computing and emotional artificial intelligence. They will be able to express themselves through facial expressions and body language. They will be able to understand human emotions and respond accordingly. But not everyone is convinced that robot police will be such a good idea in 2050. Some critics argue that robot police will pose many ethical and social problems that could harm our society in 2050. They raise several questions and concerns about the future of robot police. One of them is, robot police will be controlled by a human government or private corporation. They will be programmed with rules or laws to follow, and will be accountable for their actions and subject to oversight and regulation. They will also be vulnerable to hacking or sabotage by malicious actors. Another question is, robot police will have a major impact on human rights and civil liberties. Will they respect the dignity and privacy of people they encounter, use proportionate force, or discriminate against certain groups or individuals? Will they use proportionate force or abuse their power? Will they protect the rights and interests of all people or discriminate against certain groups or individuals? A third question is, robot police will have a significant impact on human society and culture. Will they enhance social cohesion and trust, or create fear and resentment? Will they foster security and justice, or undermine the rule of law and democracy? Will they complement or replace the human police force? Critics argue that robot police could pose more risks than benefits for our society in 2050, and suggest that we should be cautious when developing and deploying robot police in 2050. The idea of robot police in 2050 is being debated. Do you support or oppose it? Let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more interesting topics. Thank you for watching and see you next time.